Come back. Uh. Today we are at a new BTO at Tengah. So Tengah is quite famous in the news recently, uh, mainly because of the CCS, the centralized cooling system. So you all can see how the box is coming in. Uh. Or rather, these are the pipes. Uh. Oh, these are the pipes coming in. Oh, pipes coming in, going up into the ceiling. And then after that, it will turn down. Oh, then it goes, goes to the room. Lah. So the good thing now is that this, this, okay, previously we took some tengah units. Ah. Previously we took some tengah units, but uh, it was not very cold. And then there were a lot of complaints on this system. But this unit that we are taking is better. This stack is better. The previous one that had more problems was another stack. Uh, for privacy reason, we won't name the blocks or the stacks. Uh. Um, I think the homeowners that already started um, getting the keys, they know about this issue. It uh, feels like aircon. The only thing is the ugly piping that comes in, uh, which is this one. Uh. <coughs> because, because it is here, it's a little bit difficult to box up because it's actually very big. Uh. So the rest of the pipes around here is still okay because you can easily box up. This is pretty much the same as how the other uh, so run. So pretty much that's the things we have to say about the aircon. Okay, good thing now is HTB also gives you the choice not to build a wall. So there's no wall here. You can plan an open kitchen concept. Or can plan open kitchen concept. In homeowner's case, they want to have a shoe cabinet here, shoe cabinet here, then the entrance to the kitchen will be here. Then the island here, island here, and then a full stretch of cabinet across. Oh, the fridge, they want to put it over at this corner. So technically, this layout is possible. If you don't want to have the shoe cabinet, you can also have, actually you can have shoe cabinet. You have a shoe cabinet, then you have another island here. Have another island here, pantry here. Then the dining table will be very, very no space for the dining table already. Dining will be over at this corner. So sacrifice ah. If you want dining at there, then that side cannot have a very big island. Oh. <coughs> Usually all this ah is on our floor plan. I try to get a floor plan that is cleaner ah, because. It's very scary, very messy. Usually, uh, we have our floor plan. This one is drawn by a homeowner so that he can discuss with us. Uh, but of course, for us, we will draw our own. Uh, we will draw our own proposal. And then from there, we know how to uh, plan for the homeowner. Uh, this one, the only thing is the space between the sink and the hob very small. Okay, come and take a look. Uh. So usually, when I come to the job site, I will explain to homeowner, if you want the fridge here, the hood here, hood and the hop. Hood and hop here. If the hood and hop is here, sink here, you have a very small counter space. Some people are okay, some people don't like. Because when your counter space is too small, it's very hard for you to chop uh, vegetables or prepare your food. Or very difficult. Then there's also option. If you want, you can also apply to hack away the wall. Have away the wall, extend the kitchen outside. Also a possibility. Oh, also another possibility. Then the usual things that we'll do to beautify the area. We'll remove the two the four doors here, build cabinets and a door to hide the bomb shelter across. Then this way we also have cabinets. So the whole wall here is covered. TV console, TV feature wall. I remember something. Let me write down the notes. Uh. TV feature wall, TV console. Okay, then we continue going in. Feature wall console. Just now I remember. I remember something, but I think I never write down. Let's go to site five. A lot of notes on it. <coughs> Never mind, I write here first. I write here. 
要以三，大家还要做一米八。第一，飞球我两米三。上台上，各位好嘛？我说，啊，我订了 something， and then quickly take paper and pen to jot it down. Oh, because our job is like that. There's a lot of details, a lot of measurement, and a lot of things that homeowner will tell us. Sometimes they speak very fast. Ah, we write very slow. Ah, we won't have enough time to write finish. Oh, sometimes you think you write finish already, then you realize, eh, never write. Oh, 都会有的 Because it's on the move all the time. Okay, then, uh, the usual lah. Defects on the floor, and then this this actually this development quite good lah. The main con is quite careful ah. They didn't really damage much of the windows or this very very little scratches, not much ah. Oh, you you eat in in lah, but some only not a lot. Sometimes we have a big one. Just this this house is actually quite good. Usually we will build a wardrobe here. With sliding door, then we can have the study table, and then the bed. Quite standard. Or alternatively, is you can have your study table at this area. Also possible. Okay. Not much changes we can do for the bedrooms. Ah, of course, if you want to save space, you can also do this. Platform bed across, then build the wardrobe on top of the platform bed, sliding one. Then from there, you can have. More storage or display cabinet with your study area. Then here will be huge, or because you squeeze the bed over to this side already. Oh, that's also one of the possibilities. Then we take a look at the toilets. Uh, we just now we got check lah. So there is still ponding here. So just now because now the water dry already ah. There's ponding at this tile and this tile, so we ask homeowner to get the contractor, the main con, to actually change the tile, or change the tile for us. There is a ponding here. Then here, I don't know whether dry or not. Ah, see, after so long, I think it has been more than hour already. Ah, more than one hour already. There's ponding over at this corner. Oh, so we wrote a lot. Ah, we wrote here to tell them to change the tiles for the homeowner. To change the tiles, they will have to remove the toilet bowl. And then reinstall back after everything is finished, lah. Then in terms of the master, master for planning of cabinets, there is two option. One will be a L shape this way, L shape, and then to a bedside table. That is one way. You can also have a walk-in wardrobe. So cabinet over here. Cabinet over here. This center part is your walk-in, oh, walk-in, walk-in wardrobe. So you can have cabinet here, cabinet here, walk-in. But what is not good about this is that because the cabinet is full height, it will block some of the sunlight because sunlight is only coming in from here. So this part of the room will be dark. Oh, so you need to have lighting here. Oh, need to have lighting here. Master toilet. Master toilet. Ah. Mm, okay, they need to do some maintenance. Ah. You can hear the screeching sound, that means something wrong. I think their, their film also got a problem. So they have to come and repair the window. Then where are we? Okay, master toilet. Some people, they like to build the curb and a shower glass. Or curb and shower glass. So that your wet area will be inside when you're showering and then outside will be all dry. This is quite common. Uh, the good thing about Tengah, is that the layout is okay, not bad. But there is a small issue, you can take a look. Uh. Take a look at this. Uh. You see this wall, very small, uh. not this wall, this wall. This wall very small. The layout is not going to be able to see. This wall should not be able to see. Okay. This wall is very small. Uh. So when this wall is small, the door swing, you will hit. You will hit this basin, right? So you cannot build a basin cabinet. So there's two options. One is when you're opening the door, you be very careful. Ah. I'll show you, ah. show you how to open the door. Cannot close. Ah. This door must buy four first. Okay? Then you can close. Oh, then you can close. So that door will fit. Or you can change to a slide and swing door. Slide and swing door. But your basin, you can't have a very nice vanity, you know. 
come has a very nice vanity. Unless you do a lot of custom design. That means remove the door frame, remove the door, replace the towel here, extend the wall. Or extend the wall. This one shrink a bit so that walking areas is still enough. But once you shrink, you won't be enough for the wheelchair already. Or, so this is the bad thing about the recent houses being built. Lah. They don't focus on this wall. Is it usable? It's still usable, but just that the door swing will hit the basin. Okay, so this part, okay already. Mirror cabinet, quite standard. Lah. Can have mirror cabinet for the, for the toilets. And then because they left a lighting point, this is something neat, good also. This is the top floor. Lah. Top floor, they don't never put the box for you already. So you see the lighting point is there. This lighting point you can extend and then can have the mirror with light. So you can have the mirror with light here. Then pretty much this is like that. Actually, to be honest with you, the the, the, the layout of the houses are in the new BTOs are pretty much quite similar. There is very little possibility of changing unless you do major hacking works and redesign or retowling works. A lot of times it is quite fixated in the design. Some of the houses that has very weird structures in, inside is even worse. Ah, because when you have weird structures, ah, the, the layout is even more limited. Oh, layout even more limited. Let me see what else I can share with you. Design jiang liao, kitchen jiang liao, effects jiang liao, storeroom zi bian jiang liao. Jisoo zi jian zuo de bu chuo. Oh, actually, not bad. The, the finishing is quite good. I mean, I've seen a lot of houses, ah, so this one, there is some defects, but not that bad. Ah. Not that bad. Okay. So, okay. Let's move to the how to engage with us. Ah. If you've seen a lot of our videos, for those that are new to our channel, okay, I'm Rhys. I'm a third generation carpenter. We don't just do carpentry. We are a full fetch renovation company. We do design, the drawings ourselves. We do the wiring, plumbing, all this, all under in-house. And then we also do our own carpentry in-house. With that being said, the renovation project is hand over to us. We hand over back the keys to you in one piece. So you don't have to go and outsource, find a lot of contractors. Oh, everything is in-house. Then for us to engage with us, because of our popularity on the YouTube and the other uh, channels, to engage with us, the way to come to our sales event is to WhatsApp to 9007-3368. Oh, so you WhatsApp to 9007-3368. Uh, after you WhatsApp in, uh, our admin will handle your case and then from there, we will be able to get your floor plan and then discuss with you. Then from there, you come to the sales event, discuss with me in person because uh, most of the homeowners want to see me in person. Then from there, we, our team will also assist you. Then you will realize that actually it's not just me in front of the camera. The whole team is actually very big. Man. Our company is not just, just me uh, because if it's just me, the company will not last. It will not be so, be so big and so powerful right now. Uh, the reason we are so popular and successful is also because of our team. So at the sales event, you'll be able to see our team. Uh, not the whole lot of them, because the carpenters will be outside at job site, because Sunday is very busy for us also. So with that, we come to the end of the video. We hope to see you in the next video. Once again, we will repeat the WhatsApp uh, number. To engage us, the WhatsApp number is 9007-3368. Oh, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Good.